everyone. My name is Equagan. You call me EK. It's a lot easier. I stream at twitch.tv slash Equagan daily. This is just going to be a short video explaining what I like to run on my Hunter. And then I do always change certain fragments depending on what I'm doing. But Void Hunter, basically, my main focus is mobility. Once I have my mobility at 100, I go into resilience. And then once I get that to 100, then I focus on my grenade. And then after my grenade, I would then focus on my melee. A lot of people will say, how come you don't do recovery? Hear me out, man. You're a hunter. You go invisible. You can kind of use that to regen. But here's the most important thing. I like running this helmet called Assassin Cow. I have a full video on Assassin Cow if you need to watch it. But this helmet right here is all the recovery that I will ever need. It's like it's like 500 recovery. Like I don't need recovery because I have, I have this helmet. All right. So I always like to kind of point that out because a lot of people don't know what the helmet does. Right. So there's a video for that. Now, next, in terms of aspects and fragments, right, I like Trapper's Inbush. Allows me to jump in the air, dive down. I use it to go in viz. Most of the time, I am not going to throw my smoke at the ground to go in viz. The dive makes you go in viz longer. All right. So if you throw this, if you throw the smoke, I believe it is five seconds. If you dive down, it is seven seconds. So you do get some time, some more time from diving down. Another neat thing that a lot of people don't pay attention to is if you go in viz and you're in viz about to run out and you dodge. It refreshes it to whatever the number was when you first went in this. So perfect example, with Assassin Cal, if I do a finisher on a, on a champion, right, I get to be invisible for 24 seconds. But guess what? My dodge is going to come back before that 24 seconds goes away. I can dodge and I get 24 seconds again. And it's funny because I can do that over and over and over and over and over and be invisible forever. Am I going to do that? Eh, whatever. It's not really needed. But I do use it when I need to grab plates and stuff, right? Like, perfect example, birthplace of the vial. If I'm sold on the plate, I can kind of do something like that. But another neat thing I like to put together here is vanishing step. When I dodge, it makes me invis. Using this is never a bad thing because it's going to be times where you don't have your melee. But it is nice to run that with gambler's dodge because if you dodge near an enemy within 15 meters of them, you get your melee back. Pairing the two together is really nice. Now, in terms of fragments, I like Echo Undermining because it weakens my targets, which allows me to do a little bit more damage. Leeching, my melee final blows do stuff health regen. There's going to be times where there's going to be minor enemies around you. You jump in the air, you dive down, it's going to kill some, which is going to not only help you regen, but also your allies. It also gives me resilience, which is nice because you're trying to, like, max out your build. Last is Echo Persistence, which basically void buffs above, uh, apply to me and Viz Overshield of Devourer. Have increased durations now in terms of the super it depends what i'm doing if i'm doing an activity where there's a crap ton of enemies right and i know that they can be grouped together i run shadow shot deadfall if there's not a lot of enemies that are going to be together and i know that there's going to be times where i need to do big damage to a single target i go with mobius quiver it depends on what you're doing all right when it comes to jump i have triple jump on my grenade usually is vortex grenade i like it because when i throw it down i know that it's going to continuously work in that area so perfect example, what's going to happen here is with Assassin Cal, depending on the enemy type when you when you kill them, right, when you do a finisher, you get a certain amount of timer. So like if I do a finisher on a red bar and I have persistence and the persistence fragment on with Assassin Cal, I believe I get 12 seconds, right? If I do it on an orange bar, it goes up to about 16. If I do it on a yellow bar or champion, it's 24. But, you know, we'll kind of show that real quick. You're finishable. All right, so this, actually, I got 14 seconds off of that goblin, right? So now with that 14 seconds, you'll see my timer is going to go all the way down to one, and I'm going to dodge, and you let me know what you see. As you can see, it refreshes to about 14 again, right? Yep, 14. And another 14. A sad account also kind of allows me to just like roam around when I need to. But here we go. Close up. Come on. Good job. Don't die. Uh, let's do one more. Right there. All right. So there goes the finish on this guy. So I have 24 seconds, right? Another thing that I want to show is that Bungie has a visual glitch in the game. And I kind of want to show that in person here too. But you can see these guys are just shooting. I'm right in front of them. They kind of know I'm here, but they don't know I'm here, right? So I'm going to let this go all the way down to one, and then I'm going to dodge. As long as you have 100 mobility, you can kind of do this forever. You're going to see that my, my timer has done it again, where it went back up to 24. Now, you see these two fellas in front of me here. 
the game is going to visually take me out of me, like, having that void thing around me. But look, they don't see me. I'm literally invisible, right? And my dodge is going to come back before the timer goes away. And guess what? I have another 24 seconds. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What you have for breakfast today? Huh? What you Hello? Are you guys there? Maybe? And once again, guess what? I have it back before the timer's up. And I could be invisible forever. Look at that. He thought he saw me. Look, he's shooting in the air now. He heard some. He got his wall hacks on. All right? But yes, if you're out there and you never knew this was a thing, it is a thing. And um, now you know. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you on the next one. Deuces.